Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with Cruise Tips TV and we want to welcome you back to another Pack With Me episode. I'm going to try to talk a little bit slower this time, but I will warn you in advance, this is going to be a very long video and here's why. We are actually packing for a 10 night cruise and we're driving to port. So those two factors combined mean that we can pack whatever we want without having to worry about airline luggage restrictions or anything like that. So with that said, I am going to be doing laundry on the ship, so I could have packed a little bit more heavily than I did, but I did decide to keep it on the moderate side. So if you are looking for a packing light video, this is not the video for you. Go straight to our packing uh, playlist and check out more of our packing light videos there. We are going to make every effort to get our stuff that you see right here into three bags, which you see two of right behind me here. These are two relatively large suitcases. And we also plan to take this carry-on. And everything that you see over on this left side, I'm gonna to try to get into a carry-on, as well as a backpack that I will be taking with me on embarkation day. Uh, this is just a standard hard side it bag, and this is a very well-worn, as you may be able to tell, suitcase from Costco, which came in a set with this little cutie right here. And these suitcases have been wonderful for us. Got a lot of wear out of them. So let's take a look first at what I plan to put in my carry-on and my backpack. We'll start with what I'm going to put in my backpack. We don't want this to be too heavy because I'm gonna be managing my son and a rolling bag and getting checked in. So we want it to be reasonably, you know, normal size backpack. So let's pull the backpack out right here. I'm going to be using my trusty old shack packable backpack, which you've probably seen in other episodes. This poor little guy is getting beat up, but it was $14 and it served us really well and it's extremely lightweight. And if we want it to, it folds into itself, into this little compartment. So this is going to be the backpack that I use on embarkation day and throughout the cruise on all of our excursions and things like that. So it's gonna start off as uh, being the embarkation day pack and then turn into the beach day and active excursion packs, which you will see if you follow us throughout our vlogs on this journey. I forgot to mention where we're going. We're going on a 10 night cruise to the Mexican Riviera. So this is a warm weather cruise. However, we are departing in November from Southern California. So it will be a little bit chilly that first day possibly. And our first port, believe it or not, is San Diego. So we are going to be packing some jeans and maybe a sweatshirt. That'll probably be the warmest thing that we need for this whole journey. And we'll also be preparing for probably a couple of cooler sea days coming back up, but this won't be like an Alaska packing episode where you see a lot of jackets and rain gear and scarves and things like that. It just won't be necessary. All right, back to what goes in the backpack. Here we go. The first thing that will be going in the backpack uh, is a handy dandy little folder with all of my paperwork in it. What you see in here is all of the documentation for boarding day. So this is going to be our boarding passes and printouts for our receipts for all of the excursions that we're going to be doing on our trip. So this is important stuff and I wanna keep it close to me. We're also going to be laminating this piece of paper, which is actually a copy of our itinerary for the trip. And we're going to put this on the wall of our stateroom so that we can all stay kind of in touch with where we are, where we're going the next day and what we're doing. Because over a period of 10 days, when we have excursions in, I think five different cities, we're gonna need to stay on track. So we have this organized by day and date, destination, duration, meaning what time we can get off the ship and what time we need to be back, and the activities that we have planned that day. Or in our case, sometimes here we have shot lists too because we do a ton of filming on board. We're gonna be doing a full ship video tour for you and interviewing some of the staff. So we have to keep track of all of our shots here. So that's what this is. So this is going to go into this backpack. I'm gonna be putting some things aside after I show them to you so that we can kind of keep this area clear. So pardon me for flinging things around. All right, next thing that I like to take in the backpack is a little pouch with hand sanitizing wipes and some things to clean my stateroom. Right when I get into the stateroom, I wipe down some of the major things that we'll be touching throughout the week. So that would be like doorknobs, uh, the phone, um, you know, some things in the bathroom, things like that to keep it clean. The rest of what is in this bag is just simply hand sanitizing wipes that are going to last us for 10 days, so that's a lot. I'm gonna keep this in my backpack. 
Next, I'm going to be keeping our container with all of our medication with me because my son um, needs allergy medicine on occasion and we never know when that might happen. So in this bag, we're gonna see things like emergency cold medicine for any member of the family in case we get sick because cruises really don't stock that stuff very well, especially for children. So we have pain reliever, cold medicine, band-aids. Um, we have like antibiotic ointment and things like that in here. We also have Kleenex and um, you know, basically stuff like that. But it's, this medicine bag can be customized to your needs. I also have a sleep mask in this bag because I like to block out light at night and it really helps me so I take my sleep mask as well. This will be staying close to me in case we need it. Also in our carry-on, well, we'll go back to the carry-on. Let's stick with the backpack. I am going to take a very small packing cube and what is inside this packing cube is very simply, a swimsuit and a pool cover-up because when my son and I get on board any ship, the first thing we like to do, uh-oh, there went my swim cover-up, um, is we like to go to the pools. And it's nice to be able to have something in your backpack that you can change into quickly. So just a little tip that your luggage won't get to your room necessarily until later in the afternoon. So I will be packing a swimsuit for myself. Also in my backpack is what's going to become my makeshift purse and passport holder for the entire week. There's a lot that's going on in this bag. I think it's worth showing you because this can be a really nice way to kind of lighten the burden of a purse for us gals for the week. And I've learned that I actually don't need to take a purse on a cruise and I've stopped doing it. This is as big as it will get for me. I'm not gonna take my big heavy shoulder bag with my whole wallet in it. This bag actually has credit card slots in it. You probably can't see it very well from here. But I have packed my credit cards here, my coffee card that I get to take from my last princess cruise, um, some fun cruise tips TV magnets. So if you see us on board, come up and ask for one of these. We always carry lots of these, carry lots of these with us. I also have a lanyard for my cruise card so that as soon as I get my cruise card, this can go around my neck and I can convert to a cashless system where I have my card with me. Sticky notes to leave each other notes. And then of course we have our passports in here. I also have some things you can't see, which would be pens and highlighters kind of down at the bottom for the rest of the week. And a good supply here of one and $5 bills. This is stuff that I'm gonna need immediately when tipping the porter and things like that on boarding day. So this little type of purse that can go over the shoulder is very handy for these types of trips. And I can take it in and out of my backpack as I please. Has another pocket on the outside where I have a supply of hand sanitizing wipes because with a little person we are always wanting to make sure that after he touches handrails and before he sticks pizza in his mouth that we clean those hands and sometimes you cannot get to a sink with hot water so that is why we have that supply there so again that's going to go in the backpack the last thing that I'm gonna to try to fit in my backpack, boy, this is a lot of stuff in my backpack, I don't know if I can do it, is this little cosmetics bag. This may end up in the carry-on, we'll see. But in this bag, um, there's a lot going on. This is probably the great majority of the supplies that we are going to keep in our bathroom for the cruise. So I'm gonna hold this up for a while, and I'm gonna go through each area of this container. You'll see that it has a handy little hanging thing on the top, hopefully I'm not holding it up too high for the camera. This can be hung on the back of the door in your cruise stateroom in the bathroom, or it can be hung on a towel rack, or you could empty everything out and put it on the shelves. This is the bag that I actually leave somewhat filled throughout my cruise. In the bottom, we have deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, and razors. In the center here, I have all of the things that I would call small liquids. So we have things like scented lotion, eye makeup remover, small facial sunscreen. I have a small bar of soap, backup chapstick, and behind this, one thing that you can't really see is I have some sample packets. And here I also have some cotton, some cotton wipes. I'm gonna hold this back up in a moment cotton uh, things for taking off eye makeup at the end of the day. All right, back to this bag. In the top container here, I have clippers, 
I have an emery board, a nail file basically, and I have a pair of tweezers. The cruise line does allow you to take all of these things on, no problem. I do not have any scissors here. They're not gonna give me any issues. I do it every time. I have a set of earplugs, which I normally do not use, but they can be really super helpful if you have something noisy going on next to you. Um, our cabin on this room actually happens to be below um, a pool, so I don't think there are gonna be a lot of children or noise on this particular cruise, I'm not worried, but it is always good to have a pair of earplugs. Hopefully that means you won't need them. And lastly up here, I have a few sample packets of conditioner and I have a chapstick that I'm gonna be using. So this is a good look at our essential toiletry bag. If you've seen past videos of ours unpacking, you see that we always take something like this with a hanging kind of concept. They're really great. All right, I'm gonna fold this back up and we're going to move on to what's going in my carry-on. I think that some of the stuff that I just showed you that was supposed to go in the backpack is probably gonna end up in the carry-on bag. So again, this is the carry-on that we're gonna be using. Unfortunately, on this trip, a lot of space is going to be taken up by the fact that I'm taking two 12 packs of soda. So we don't wanna buy a soda card. We're gonna be taking Diet Dr. Pepper and Diet Coke for my husband and I. Um, we want to save as much money on this cruise as we can for excursions. So rather than spending seven or eight dollars a day on soda and things like that, we're gonna pack it with us because quite honestly, the cruise line allows it. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna take a bottle of wine, so that may get added to this bag later, but we have some time to figure that out. The next thing that I would like to show you is another essential bag that we take in our carry-on because this is what I call kind of my stateroom setup pack. Now, this has all of the non-clothing related things that we cannot live without in our cabin. The first thing that I have here is a little kind of digital bag. And this little digital bag has headphones, emergency phone chargers that we're gonna be taking on excursions so we can take tons of videos for you guys as we go on boats and go snorkeling and all that stuff. I have headphones because I like to edit my vlogs in the morning before my husband and son wake up. I'm a very early riser, so this is so that I don't wake them up. And of course, an extra charging cable. My husband will be packing a lot of this great stuff too, but it's nice to have this uh, kind of bag that I, I know I have all of my little phone supplies in. This next mesh bag is filled with so much stuff, I don't even know how I'm gonna show it all to you. So I'm gonna to try to go through and give you a general idea. These are motion sickness bands, which I normally do not get motion sick on the cruise, but we're doing a lot of private boat excursions in port, and I'm gonna take these just in case I get a little bit woozy. Since we're going to be uh, cruising in the fall, sometimes the Pacific Ocean gets very rocky. Might need those. This is something to put around your neck when you're in the water uh, that protects your credit cards, cash, whatever, cruise card, it's waterproof. These are silly little towel clips that hold your <laughs> towel to your, uh, your chair. And I use these on the cruise when it's windy, believe it or not, they're really, really nice to have. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm packing them, but I do love them. These are lanyards for my husband and son's cruise card. Some magnets for our wall with our Cruise Tips TV logo on them. They're super cute, we just got these. And clothespins, in case the light leaks in in the morning through our curtains, we can use the clothespins to shut them off or we can use these in our shower where there's a clothesline to kind of secure wet swimsuits, drippy things like that. And of course, we just have loads and loads of magnets. If you've seen our packing videos before, you know that we like these super strong magnets that are so strong that they're sticking to themselves for our stateroom setup uh, area by the door. So you'll see these in future videos, I'm sure. So this is another little essential packet. This bag has a lot of stuff in it. So I'm gonna be spending quite a bit of time on this bag. I have my, this is what I call my dinner purse. This is what I take to dinners on the cruise because I don't need much. I need some lipstick, some hand sanitizing wipes, my cruise card, and maybe my cell phone. So this is gonna look nice enough that I feel like I can take it to dinner. Two pop-up hampers for the cruise so that we can keep all of our dirty clothes in line. Tiny alarm clock, since as we know, cruise ship staterooms do not have clocks. Most of them don't anyway, unless you turn on your television. So we're gonna use that. This is a portable speaker. We've done a cruise gear episode on this before. This is a U-Moon portable Bluetooth speaker that we'll be listening to tunes with on our balcony, probably for sail away and when I'm getting ready for dinner. This is a small pair of binoculars. And last but not least, the good old power strip. Is this a power strip, sweetie? It's not a surge protector, right? It's a power strip. 
You cannot take a surge protector on a cruise ship, but you can take a power strip. They are generally allowed. I have never had one confiscated in all of my 20 plus cruises. So please don't worry about it. Take one of these if you're cruising on an older ship that does not have a lot of plugs. And believe me, it probably doesn't. My husband will probably also pack a USB splitter. It's not in my bag this time. Don't forget to pack that, honey. Um, so what we do is when we set up this little guy, we also set up a USB charging hub and plug all of our stuff into it. Some people call them USB splitters. We call them char USB charging hubs. They're awesome. Cannot live without those. And I did forget to put that in this bag. So that will be coming later. And that is kind of my stateroom setup bag. This is a really good little kit that I like to keep close to me on day one. <coughs> Excuse me, my goodness. In case my luggage is delayed and I need to get my phones charging so that we can photograph things and take videos, this bag is pretty essential. So it's heavy, but it's worth keeping close to you. That covers my carry-on. So now I'm gonna move on to showing you my little seven-year-old son's backpack. He is going to carry his own backpack and this is his day one backpack. We don't take a lot for him um, to manage on his own because he's a tiny and I don't want him to have to carry a whole lot on his back. So we just have the essentials here in this backpack. We have his sunglasses, a little pack of mints because he loves Altoids, and we have his little cruise lanyard, which goes around his neck. And of course, we have Froggy. And Froggy has been on every cruise that he's ever been on. So this is just a little cruise tradition that we take with us on every cruise. We take it to dinner with us sometimes. He plays with us. He gets to meet all of the people on the ship. It's really fun, so. That is essential. You can't go on a cruise without Froggy. And in the back of the backpack here for him is his little sun hat. And he has two books. We're going to be reading the good old-fashioned um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory books on this trip. And he has the same little Embarkation Day swimsuit pack that I have. So here he has his goggles, a swimsuit for day one, and sunscreen for both of us so we can head straight to the pool. And that is all I'm going to put in his backpack. He might have a device on it like his iPad or a little something that he can watch videos or do you know, educational games or whatever on. But for right now, I'm not too worried about that. So that's his backpack. Enough of the carry-on stuff. Let's get into what's going in the big suitcases. There is so much to show you. I'm going to start with our hanging clothing and then I'm gonna ask my husband to come by after I've shown everything to you on hangers and get that out of the way. Um, remember how I said this is gonna be a long episode? I'm actually gonna show you every single dress <laughs> that I am packing for myself. I'll go into a little more detail on what's in my clothing area rather than showing you all of my husband's clothes because people do ask me a lot what I wear in a cruise. So here we go, let's take a look. Um, the first bag here is a kind of a large garment bag that I got at Banana Republic, literally not joking, 15 years ago. It has holes in it, but it does the trick. This has all of my dresses for dinner. There are 10 nights on this cruise. So eight, I guess you'd call them cruise casual nights and two formal nights, but I'm not packing 10 dresses. I am packing eight dresses and I'm going to rewear some of them to dinners and I'm also probably going to rewear some of them the next day because I'm not in my dinner clothes long enough to get them dirty at all. So I found over the years that that's one way to keep it a little bit lighter. So let's take a look ah, at what we have here. I'm gonna just kind of go through the dresses. Um, this dress here is one of my most re recent Stitch Fix dresses. This is just gonna be for a regular dinner. This gown here, this is a, like a kind of a shorter cocktail dress. This will be worn with silver shoes and this is for a formal night. This is another kind of cruise casual dress. This is an off the shoulder cotton dress that you've seen before in my episodes because I wear it all the time. Uh, another dress, you saw this one on my last cruise. <laughs> Very comfortable. Another exactly the same I, cotton off the shoulder dress for a casual dinner. And this is my last um, formal night gown. Honey, you haven't seen this. This is new, isn't it cute? I love it. I'm really excited about this one. So I'm packing two pair of silver shoes to wear with the two formal night gowns um, that are old and worn in because as you know, packing uncomfortable shoes on a cruise is a terrible idea. So I'll show you those shoes in just a moment. But these are the two little dresses that I got for this cruise. I got um, really lucky, went to Macy's and spent $150 and got something like two formal dresses 
and six bathing suit cover-ups for 150 bucks. I don't know how I got so lucky, but I set a budget for myself and I didn't go over it and I do have some nice new things for this cruise, so I'm really happy. I am going to lay these right here for just a moment. And I think actually at this point, I am going to show you what I have on hangers for my son so that we can get the hanging stuff out of here. If you watched our last pack with me video, you will have seen the exact same shirts that my son took on our last cruise. He's a little boy, he doesn't need anything too fancy in the way of clothes, but we do like him to wear collared shirts to dinner. So we're gonna take just the one formal shirt for two nights with two ties and hope that he doesn't get spaghetti with meatballs all over it. And then he has just a few little kind of collared surf shirt type things here that we will reuse. And I've also got some, some shirts that he can wear to dinner that are more t-shirt style, but we can wash and iron these on the ship with no problem so that he can reuse those. All right, we're gonna place those right here. Our last bit of hanging clothing today is just a couple of um, swimsuit cover-up and shore excursion day types of kind of, some, I'd say they're kind of dresses, but they're really more meant for um, beach wear. So they're very casual dresses, not meant for dinner. And these are for me. Take them out of the bag here. Okay. I'm gonna show you every single one of these if I can. Let's start with this first little packet here. Okay, this is just a little tank dress that I can wear over a swimsuit. And whoa, there we go, another tank dress that I can wear over a swimsuit with some really fun back detail. And the last one here, again, same thing. Dress that I can wear to a beach, fun little straps on the back, a little more casual. These are definitely not for wear to dinner or anything like that. Could easily wear them to lunch at the buffet by the pool, but nothing other than that. And then we have, oh, one of my dinner dresses snuck in here. This is actually a dinner dress. Seemed like I didn't have enough, so this one's going to dinner with me. And these are the remaining two swimsuit cover-ups. These are definitely poolside types of things that I got at Macy's and will be taking on the trip. So, honey, can you come take all the hanging stuff for me so that I can do a little show and tell of our packing cubes? Okay, here you go. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Okay, now for the fun stuff we can get into our packing cubes. I'm actually going to start with my husband's packing cubes um, and tell you a little bit about his uh, packing story. These two cubes right here are my husband's clothes. These cubes are all of my husband's clothes for a 10 night cruise. How did he do this, you ask? Well. He has a different packing method than I do, and you might say it's a bit more of an extreme packing method. So we actually have made an episode all about his packing technique, which we're going to show you separately so that you're not watching a one hour <laughs> pack with Sherry from Cruise Tips TV family, but it's really quite fascinating how he does this. All of his dress shirts and clothing for the entire trip are also folded into this. So he's gonna be doing some ironing on board, but that's okay. So I'm afraid to open it because I'm afraid everything's gonna pop out. So we're just gonna show this all to you a little bit later, okay? I'm gonna push those out of the way. Stay tuned for that episode. We won't keep you waiting very long, I promise. Let me see, is that a bad place for that, honey, or is that okay? Okay, um, next up I have some things that I'm gonna be packing that are not my husband's. This is our liquids. These are the liquids that I'm actually not going to take in my carry-on bag because I honestly, I just don't really need them on day one. So there's a variety of things in here that are with the liquids that I just don't need on day one. Coffee cup for husband. I like to go to the espresso bar and get him a really nice, hot, pipe and hot, high quality Americano in the morning, take it to the room. So he has that when he wakes up. And this makes it so much easier because it carrying a hot cup through the halls of a cruise ship um, it's just not fun, so I've learned to take this with me. It's worth it. I can stuff socks in there to maximize space if I want to. This is my laundry pack for the cruise. I keep this packed all the time so I can grab it, but it has travel sizes of things like Woolite and Tide um, that we can just take and not have to spend, you know, an extra dollar fifty or so in the laundry room on the ship. I'll try to get some footage on the ship of the laundry room because it's a big part of our 10 night cruises. We usually do laundry maybe twice on a cruise because things like your jeans and your underwear and your socks, you run out of those things. And also when you're doing super active beach excursions, things get really dirty and swimsuits need to be washed. So we're gonna be using this. Watch for those videos, by the way. This is my sunscreen bag. 
plain and simple. Sunscreen sprays, sticks, and creams, all in that bag. And I don't want those in my carry-on. I don't need them. I have a little tiny travel size. And this is just the rest of our liquids. It's mostly shampoo, shaving cream, and actually a full-size hand soap for our room. This is kind of a luxury item that I've learned to take on longer cruises that are over a week because I get really tired of that bar soap that they give you on the cruise, like melting into the counter. It's gross. I just want my own hand soap. So I used half of this packed the rest, took the lid off and I'm sorry, put the lid back on and put the pump separately. And I also have in here some bug spray because we are going zip lining on this uh, cruise and we were told that you need bug spray this time of year. So we're going to take that. So that is kind of the liquids and miscellany bag. Next up, we're going to look at what I packed for my son. He's seven. And he is um, going to be doing a lot of swimming on this trip, ocean and pool swimming. So a lot of emphasis on clothing for pool time and beach days. I packed him three pair of little pants for dinner, one pair of jeans, and all of these can be mixed and matched with those um, shirts that you saw. And then the rest of this is mostly just casual shorts for him and pajamas and swimsuits in this bag. I'm not gonna go through everything because it would take forever, but he's really easy to pack for. This next bag has his shirts in it mostly. So we'll take a quick look at that and I will be adding a hoodie for him into my backpack or carry-on bag in case he gets cold on embarkation day because embarkation day in November is likely to be the, you know, the coolest day of the cruise. So in this bag, I have a, a bunch of tank tops for him and t-shirts and I have rash guards which protect him from the sun, but mostly this is all just t-shirts, a variety of different things in um, mostly not white. I only packed one white shirt for him because when I'm on a cruise, I do not pack bleach and I can't seem to get the white clothes clean. So that's one thing that you'll notice is that anything that needs to be laundered, we don't take white on a cruise. We leave those light colored items at home. The last bag that I have for my son um, is his socks, underpants and pajamas container, so that's what this looks like here. One thing that is missing from his bag right now is his shoes, because we're not leaving on our cruise for a little while. I couldn't pack his shoes, because he wears the same things every day, but I am packing two pair of shoes for him for the entire cruise. One pair of comfortable flip-flops. The second pair are a decent pair of sneakers that he can wear zip lining and for athletic things, but mostly the sneakers are actually going to be worn to dinners, but they're very nice looking. He does not need dress shoes. He does not like shoes that don't feel good and I can't keep them in him. So we'll dress them up a little bit more on the top so that he can get away with wearing sneakers to dinner. And that's everything for my son. I did forget to show you my husband's dress shoes. My husband will be taking these dress shoes, one pair of flip flops and a pair of like, I guess kind of like Converse type shoes that you could say are sort of like sneakers, but they're nice enough to be worn to more casual dinner. So we've got to figure out what shoes he's going to wear zip lining, but we're getting there. Now on to overpacker extraordinaire, moi. We're going to take a look at what I have in my packing cubes here. Okay. I have a couple of hats that are just going to be packed loosely on this cruise. This is a sun hat type thing and this is a trucker hat. I should be able to wear these to protect my face from the sun on a variety of different excursions. Those will get crammed into the bag somewhere. Next up we have my shoes. I will be taking four total pair of shoes on this cruise. Uh, one of them I will wear most of the time and I will wear on the ship and that is flip flops which are on my feet right now. These guys putting it back on my foot, sorry. <laughs> I'm taking these old beat up silver dress shoes for the two formal nights. I've learned the hard way that you just really, like I said before, should never buy new shoes for a cruise. Take the old ones, trust me on this. A pair of sneakers for zip lining and working out. I will be taking workout clothes on this cruise because it's a long one and I'll have plenty of time to go to the gym and walk the decks and do all kinds of fun things like that. And these are the wedges that I'm going to be wearing to every single dinner except the formal nights. These go with every single dress that I packed. They're really neutral, they're comfortable, they're worn in, they're a little dirty, but that's okay. And that's what's gonna happen. So those are my four pair of shoes if you include the pair on my feet. 
This is actually a packing cube designed for shoes that I got in a pack of uh, cubes at Ikea and they're awesome, I love it. Let's bring over the rest. I am definitely the one who has the most stuff on this cruise, as you can see. So that'll also probably mean that I need the, you know, least amount of laundry done. Okay, this cube is the swimwear cube. We actually threw a few of my husband's items in here that we'd forgotten. We got him a new hat for this cruise from North Face on Amazon. It was like $20 and it's really nice. It's kind of like a military hat style. And these are just a pair of his swim trunks. These are kind of afterthoughts that got thrown in. But this is all of my swimsuits. These are all my bikinis here. And I have two um, rash guard type things that I wear. Um, when I'm snorkeling and things like that because I'm extremely fair skinned and I burn in about 10 to 15 minutes even with sunscreen so I really have to protect my skin and I know I'm not going to look all that cool wearing a rash guard but I really don't want to be a lobster and I want my dermatologist to like me when I get home. So that's that bag. Uh oh I'm losing track. Okay here we go. This bag here is kind of cool. It has a, it has two sides to it, two zippers. I'm gonna show you what's in each side. This is my jewelry roll. It has all of my jewelry in it and it has a little thingy that I'm gonna be hanging in the closet. So you'll see that when you see our stateroom tour. We're gonna probably do kind of a how we organize our stateroom video like we did on, I believe it was a carnival ship last year and we'll show you that when we get on board. Uh, this is a kit with all of my hair stuff in it, which isn't very much. Ponytail holders, bobby pins, a comb and something to hold the half of my hair up when I'm flat ironing it. Um, coloring book for my son and I, which you probably saw on our last cruise, in case we have any downtime and we wanna to color together. And um, ladies, these are stick-on bras. Sorry guys, kinda of gross, but need it when you're wearing a strapless dress. Okay, let's flip this over. The other side of this one is pajamas, undergarments, and socks, and that's it. So that's that packing cube. And this packing cube, because I told you I'm overpacking, <laughs> has a warm and cozy wrap that I can wear when I get cold at dinners instead of like a sweater and just some things to wear during the day on the cruise. So in this bag, I have a pair, one pair of jeans, one pair of shorts and a few tank tops and things like that shirts to wear during the day when it's a little bit cooler on board. I'm not gonna show you all of that because it's pretty boring. I am mostly a dress person on vacation, so you really did see most of my clothing. I don't really like to wear shorts or jeans on a cruise. I like to wear swim stuff, you know, swim stuff, cover-ups, dresses, things like that to make me feel like I'm on vacation, you know, resort wear, right? Okay, this little packing cube here, has my exercise clothes in it. Now, this is also doubling as my zip lining clothing for this trip because you have to kind of wear active wear, active wear <laughs> when you're on a cruise. Uh, I'm sorry, when you're doing zip lining because you're gonna get really dirty and you just, I don't know, you need to be comfortable. Lots of walking, things like that. And I'm gonna be wearing sneakers. So I'll be wearing like cropped yoga pants and maybe like an exercise top or something like that. So that's what's in this bag. Uh, this little guy here is just a tripod that's my husband's. We put this tripod in our big suitcase because it's really heavy. So my friends, you have seen everything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pack everything into the suitcases, we're gonna try anyway, and see how that goes and give you a peek at what everything looks like crammed into one spot. So this is the finished product. This is what everything looks like once it is packed in our suitcases. We did end up with the two large bags, one carry-on bag, a backpack for my son, and a backpack for myself. And of course, my husband will carry his own backpack with his camera gear. And everything turned out okay. I know that this is a very long video. I hope it was helpful for you. We do have a ton of other episodes on packing. Remember that we have that shorter packing episode for a four-night cruise where you can see how different it might look on a shorter cruise. And we we have packing tips for carry-on bags. We have everything you could possibly imagine. So be sure to check out our packing playlist. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and we look forward to hanging out with you there in between cruises. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey, click me to subscribe. That's going in. <laughs> Am I laying here?
Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs>